Cells in our body depend on a steady supply of nutrients and oxygen, as well as the removal of carbon dioxide and other waste. Da 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 da! Our lungs are contained in our chest cavity. Kind of like what you get filled at the dentist. Ah, excuse me. Kind of like what you get filled at the dentist, but instead of metal or some funky stuff inside, you have your heart, your lungs, and a bunch of veins and arteries, and stuff that connect it all together. Now this protects your lungs and heart like they're in a cage, like uh, a rib cage. Yeah. This also creates a humid environment that is necessary for the exchange of gases with the blood. Cellular respiration refers to the action inside the cells. External respiration is the exchange of gases from the outside of your body to inside and vice versa. Now, external respiration can be broken down into four processes that work together. One, air exchanges from the atmosphere into your lungs. This is breathing. Two, the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Three, transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide by the blood. All aboard. Four, the exchange of gases between blood and the cells. Because we do have gas exchange deep inside our body, that means we need a way to get the air deep into our bodies. We do that by expanding our thorax and creating more volume inside than before and pulling atmosphere into our lungs. Then we contract our torso, creating less volume and exhaling air. Air enters the upper respiratory tract through the mouth and nose and passes into the pharynx or throat. Air flows through the larynx where you make sound by tightening your vocal cords into a windpipe, trachea or windpipe. It goes through the primary bronchial and branch off into smaller bronchial into the lungs. The smallest bronchi branch becomes bronchialis. These are attached to alveoli where the exchange actually takes place. Now these alveoli are covered in capillaries where a thin layer of blood is in close contact to the alveoli air sac. And the gas exchanges by diffusion through these capillaries. Now that blood is free to take the oxygen to the cells of the body. There are four major functions of the respiratory system. One, exchange of gases between the atmosphere and your blood. Your body brings in oxygen for your tissues and gets rid of carbon dioxide. Two, homostatic regulation of the pH. Your lung can alter the body's pH by selectively retaining or excreting CO2, a.k.a. makes you have more or less acid in your blood. 3. Protection from inhaled pathogens and irritating substances or protects you from bad things you breathe. Like one way it does this is through nose hairs and the mucus in your nose that catches particles and stuff as you breathe in. So, no, don't, don't eat your boogers, that's nasty. Four is vocalization. Air moves across your vocal cords, creating vibrations used for speech, singings, or other forms of communication. Caca! While using these functions, we lose a considerable amount of water and heat from our body. Even though you think we're not full of hot air, you sure let out a lot. That's some information on the respiratory system. Please check out another section.